deserves two introductions. <laughs> Performing yet another desperate attempt to get the funniest person superlative, Ryan Robertson. So y'all think just because you clap, I'll forget everything that happened last year. <laughs> I looked at the judges sheets. You know what I got docked on? Time management. Y'all think I'm so funny. Y'all can't keep your hurting her as long enough to, for me to get my check. I'm sorry guys. It's been a rough day. I found out this morning both my girlfriends are cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? You know, it's been the whole year. I have to have my act memorized because I can't bring my Chromebook out here. <laughs> We're no longer BYOT, which sucks. Because now I can't bring my jewel. <laughs> Honestly, this one-to-one -one thing is really dumb. You know the class I use my Chromebook most in? Chorus. <laughs> we are singing off of Chromebooks. It's the most depressing thing you'll ever see. And I don't know if you've noticed, but a Chromebook weighs substantially more than a piece of paper. So the only way I find comfortable to sing off a Chromebook is to hold it to my chest and strain my neck trying to see the notes. And holding it there all class period, by the time I'm done, my back hurts, I'm sweating. <laughs> Having five to seven pounds on your chest every day, I know what it's like to be a woman. <laughs> I've been duck footed all my life. It means my feet go like this. But when you dance ballet, you want to have your feet turned out. And I'm perfect at that. Not having to worry about that makes me dance around my classmates. I'm the best in that class. Those six year olds don't know what hit <laughs> We've had some fun, but I'd like to be frank for a moment. He seems like he's got everything figured out. <laughs> but seriously, sexism exists, and it's so blatant. If you go to a restaurant, who always gets the check? The man. You know what that means? Two ladies eating in a restaurant, they're waiting for hours on a check that is never covered. <laughs> they sit there two, three hours until they eventually have to dine and dash. We are criminalizing an entire gender. That is not okay. <laughs> you ever get in front of a school bus and stop at random intersections so they know how it feels? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta get my composure. Y'all are terrifying. Most comedians, they're dealing with a crowd that is under the influence, so they're more likely to laugh. And if I bomb tonight, y'all see me on Monday. <laughs> Oh, yes. 
This is uh, my final joke. And it's about a very special occasion that happened to me. Uh, recently, I've been working at this Chinese place, and I figured stand-up delivery goes hand-in-hand, hand, right? <laughs> so I'm working there, and I'm going to a typical delivery. I show up in an apartment complex, and it's a typical day. I walk up to the door, and I know I have two girlfriends. <laughs> but when a grade-A cutie like this walks up, <laughs> you can't, you can't just like, let that pass. <laughs> So the door opens and I'm completely smooth. Thankfully, they take away the talking. Hello, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Haber knows my name. sweetest note. Dear Ryan, keep it up with the stand. Really fun. Signed, Keith Haber. And guys, I know this is said a lot, but with the tip he gave me, teachers' salaries must really be awful. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.